From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Lexi Cartwright. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 13th of October. Well, should she stay or should she go? New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian is fighting for her job after her secret years-long love affair with former MP Daryl Maguire was exposed yesterday. Mr Maguire is currently the subject of a corruption probe. Now, there's no suggestion of any wrongdoing by Miss Berejiklian, according to the Independent Commission Against Corruption, but her colleagues are seriously questioning her judgment over the revelations of the secret relationship. Key factional leaders have publicly declared their allegiance to the Premier, but it's rumoured there's considerable unrest on the backbench. Here's what Miss Berejiklian had to say. Hands down, this has been one of the most difficult days of my life. I'm an extremely private person. I stuffed up in my personal life, and I accept that. And whilst uh, I have made um, this mistake in my personal life, I intend to serve the people of New South Wales to the best of my ability. New South Wales opposition leader Jody McKay came out swinging. Have a listen. Gladys Berejiklian has no choice but to resign. If you thought you knew Gladys Berejiklian, then think again. Uh, this Premier is a fraud and today she's been unmasked. To Victoria now, and over 19,000 fines valued at more than 27 million bucks have been issued to people flouting coronavirus restrictions, but an overwhelming majority of the rule breakers aren't paying up. Only 845 fines, about $1.45 million, have been fully paid. 18% have reached the final demand stage, after which recipients risk having property seized or even being sent to prison. Overseas now, and there are fears Pope Francis may have been exposed to COVID-19 after four members members of his Swiss guard tested positive. The guards are now in isolation and contact tracing is being conducted. Now on Monday, the Pope met with Cardinal George Pell, who recently returned to the Vatican after being acquitted for child sex abuse. Photos showed the two men meeting without wearing masks. In travel news now, and Tourism Australia have hired husband and wife team Hamish Blake and Zoe Foster Blake for a $7 million campaign designed to encourage Aussies to take a local holiday. Now a key message of the Holiday Here This Year campaign is to encourage Encourage holidaymakers to make sure they book experiences, not just accommodation and transport. I need a holiday. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> For Australia. <gasps> what about the outback? Yes. Yes. We could catch our own lunch. I know exactly what you mean. Maybe, um... We have a fancy night in. You know, for Australia. I think I'm ready for a night out. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're going out. It comes at a critical time, with tourism sector losses estimated to be as high as $1 billion per month since the closure of international and state borders. To sport now, and the girlfriend of a Richmond AFL player delivered a filthy spray at the Western Bulldogs in an Instagram video that has been made public by the Herald Sun. Yeah, she was fired up, wasn't she? Yeah, Tanisha Crook, who is dating Jack Higgins, is staying inside a Gold Coast resort that houses players from a number of teams, including the Tigers and Dogs. Now, she was livid that the Bulldogs players were partying loudly at night after they were bundled out of the final series. Crook called security and then recorded this Insta video. And these idiots, just because they've gotten knocked out... Treating it like a western suburbs nightclub. Like, how selfish can you be? You just literally go on your flight back to Footscray where the f you live. Just makes me so mad. Whew. The Bulldogs downplayed the incident, though, telling the Herald Sun Crook's complaints were overblown. Well, that's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update in the Arvo. Your update from news.com.au.